Hey, welcome back. Today I have a really exciting kind of slash crazy piece of news to share with you guys about Raffleage King Classic, and it's all about the hyperspeed accelerators from engineering. So basically, if you don't know already, the hyperspeed accelerators are a tinker that goes on the gloves, they replace your enchant, and what they do is that it's an unused cooldown that gives you 340 haste for 12 seconds. And it's on a one minute cooldown, okay? So this basically is just a really powerful on use trinket that is on your gloves, and that is really awesome. However, normally the hyperspeed accelerators share a cooldown with your on use trinket, a 30 second shared cooldown, meaning that you can't take a on use trinket and use your hyperspeed accelerators at the exact same time, like in the exact same macro, for example, because they share a 30 second cooldown. So a few days back, we got a piece of news and a hotfix from Blizzard that changes things quite a bit and it actually will change a lot about Bissalus, it will change what profession is best in PvP in my opinion, and I think that it's gonna have a pretty big effect on gameplay, more so of an effect than a lot of other things that we see honestly. So let's take a look at this blue post and talk about what they actually did. All right, so here we are on Wowhead, thanks to them for hosting the information, but here is the blue post from Blizzard, and this is what we're gonna be taking a look at. So they did a number of hot fixes on October 10th, 2022, and one of them is a fixed an issue where hyperspeed accelerators could not be used in the same macro as spells and abilities, which was really annoying because it meant that you could not actually use your hyperspeed accelerators in a macro with literally anything. Like it was just causing it to break. And this was interrupting my use of gargoyle and it was really annoying. So basically they fixed it, but in fixing it, they inadvertently caused a bit of a weird thing to happen. So let's read the developer's note. And it says, due to the nature of this fix, hyperspeed accelerators on use effect no longer shares a partial cooldown with on use trinkets as they once did. For now, this is known and intended, but we may attempt a different fix in a future patch to resolve the macro issue above, which no longer allows this and puts engineering glove tinkers and on use trinkets back onto a shared cooldown. So <laughs> what exactly does this mean? And uh, how long is this going to last for? Like, are we really going to get a chance to use this? Should you go level engineering right now or go farm that on use trinket so that you have it? Well, to answer the first part, this is insanely powerful. Uh, I can imagine already the first person in PvP, because like in arena or in raid is kind of like whatever. This is cool, but where it's gonna be broken <laughs> is in PvP. And I can imagine because hyperspeed accelerators do work in arena. Imagine a human, a human that can use two on use or, or like PvP uh, damage trinkets at the same time. They don't need a uh, like you know medallion trinket or anything. Their racial is their medallion. So imagine a human who can grab the Anvil of the Titans, which gives a thousand attack power. They can grab a on use trinket, which could give them crit, haste, attack power, spell power, whatever it is that is most beneficial for them. And then they have the hyperspeed accelerators. Then they have a weapon enchant. So now all they got to do is they got to line up their weapon enchant with their proc from the Anvil of the Titans and then pop their, uh, their hyperspeed accelerators and their on use trinket and then push their damage button, their obliterate, their, their scourge strike, their frost strike, their mortal strike, whatever it is they push to do big damage. That is going to hit hard. <laughs> and that burst period, that burst cooldown uh, period that they use all this in is going to be insane. And what I think this means is that in arena, you are going to basically have to be an engineer um, if you're going to want to go like 2200 plus. Like, and when I say have to, I mean like you're just going to want to because it's going to be so much damage that you're going to be capable of doing that healers are going to be very hard pressed to heal through it. Uh, basically, I mean, this is really insane. This is literally having an entire extra trinket that, you know, which is significant. That is very significant. And so ultimately, I think this is going to be really powerful. And we're going to see a lot of people using and doing everything they can to exploit this to the maximum effect that they possibly can. So that brings us to the second question. How long will this last? Is it really going to be like, you know, are we going to have this for a few weeks? Are we going to have this for a few months? Are we going to have this forever? I think considering they said um, that they may attempt to come back and fix it in the future patch, you know, best would be maybe maybe three months, you know, when we get the next patch possibly would be the best case scenario. Worst case scenario could be blizzard soon slash never. So I say go for it. I say go out there, get your on use trinket. 
I say go get your uh, go get anything, go get everything, go get engineering, go get the unused trinket. Hell, roll a human if you want to absolutely just cheese and abuse the hell out of this. Uh, because it's going to be powerful. So I want to let you guys know what was going on. I want to let you guys know about this change because it is pretty impactful and I'm definitely going to be playing around with it and seeing what kind of crazy cheesy stuff I can do. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this, what you think about engineering basically being the best profession for performance now. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be tons of angry people. But uh, yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell notification if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.